it came up. Jeremy? What? The notification came up finally. Notification went out. Hi guys. How are you? How are you, Case? Hey Lulu. Roxy. Cherry. Oh my god. Good to see you, Casey. Hey Roxy, how you doing doll? Hey Sure Fry. Yeah, well, let me go back to the first question. Hey everyone, hi mom and dad. Wanna guess who? <laughs> hi sweetheart, how are you? Hi everybody. Yeah, this isn't working because I already did the one question. So, hey William, well, let me go back. how are you? Welcome. Welcome to Tuesday's the 10th Tuesday night trivia guys. Unbelievable. Where did time go? This is nuts. So now you have to give me a few more minutes. Hey, Mike. Mike tried. What's up, what's up, what's up? How are you, sir? <coughs> no precipitation here. She'll be here soon, I hope. Oh, what is it, Tuesday? Your mom should be here soon. Notification went out, Case. Just takes time. But yeah, it's cold here today. A little windy, but it was nice. How are you, Mike? Oh, I know those days. Trust me, Roxy. Trust me on that one. We know. Hey, John. How are you? John, I'm going to private Facebook you later. All right. Leave it at that. So we're okay. We're doing okay. Been a good day. Young man. I, those days are long gone, sir. <laughs> long gone. How you feeling? Hey, Karen. How are you? Karen, look. Your daughter's here. Yeah, we're still looking. Numbers are not exact, but it may get some snow this weekend. So let's see what happens. It's kind of iffy. I mean, today's only Tuesday. I'm already at 40%. Hey, Ruthie, how are you? Oh, my God. Please not close. Oh, John. No. John's sick again. Not good, Ben. <coughs> so my other daughter that's in here, Short Fry, how are you tonight? And I still, I figured out what the glitch was, guys, um, <coughs> with my editing program, and I fixed it. So it does happen from time to time. <laughs> What were you looking for? Watch, there's... Okay. Yeah, we're doing all right. I'm just kind of tired tonight. That's just par for the course, but... Been a long week. I cannot But, good news is, my camera is working really well. Why the laptop case? Which is probably not a bad thing. <laughs> Good. Glad to hear. You know where you get that from? Because it ain't me. I don't bake. Very rare. I'm a cook. Dad's not a not a not a baker. <laughs> sure fry, how's your weather down there, pumpkins? Mike, how you feeling? That's cool. Yeah, it's cold up here tonight, but it's quiet. 
winds died down. <coughs> Why were you looking? Oh. I just. Okay, Case. That's cool. That is cool. Karen, guess what? I don't have to take carts in the store anymore. I can walk with my knee. Which is a good thing. It's getting better. Hey, Amber Ann. How are you, doll? How was the... Possible. Yeah. Like it. That's just weird. It is weird. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. You and me both, kiddo. You and me both. <gasps> Daughter said she's ready for spring and summer. <laughs> Mom doesn't blame me either. Yeah, that's why I said I'm just keeping an eye on that storm for Saturday. Too far out yet? No. No. Actually, Karen, I, I followed your advice. I haven't been wearing the braces. I mean, I wore the brace today, but in the house, I don't wear it. And half the time, I don't wear it at all. Welcome to the dead of winter. All right, Amber. She got she got the part for a car. She says hopefully she can have the alignment Thursday. That's good, honey. Proud of that. I will. Well, it's multiple choice, so you got 25%. I, don't, I can't find any multiple choice ones. No? Nope. Sorry, no multiple choice. Uh-oh. Yeah, I know that, Mike. David, how are you, sir? Then you got a shot, Case. You got a shot. <laughs> We're getting there. What's that? Karen, she says, well, we get ready to play. Which was the... Pardon? Last week, Amber Ann won. Yeah, and then... Like, well, Peaches. Peaches, and then I went to Amber Ann. Which was that the ten I don't remember. I'd have to go yeah. back. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, I unfortunately could not find... Well, I found one, which Bob found earlier today, multiple choice. The problem is when you take... Like, I looked at the first question... And then you have to click to the second question. But That's now fine, Mike. Let me go back to the first question. So, I mean, I could start at the second one. Start at the second one. Well, then you got to... Start at 27, well, 26. Well, we won't. I have other questions. Just All right, David. That's cool. That's cool, babe. Minute, <coughs> oh, do you know what Troy Night Out is this Friday? And I may vlog it. It's chocolate night. It's what? Chocolate night. Chocolate night. All right, Cherry. Hey, Lady Base. How are you? Yeah, guys, this is just, like, really weird, but I went back last night. This is our 10th Tuesday night trivia. Where did the time go? I don't feel like it is yet, but I guess it is. 
Where did the time go? Unbelievable. And Thursday, guys. Thursday. Bob finally... Yeah, that's my... That, there. There's your daughter. Chocolate Ware. They have a thing called... What is it called? Friday Night... What is it? Uh -huh. Troy. Troy Night Out. It's the last Friday of the month, and it's um, Chocolate Night. Do you want me to pick you up in the plane, Amber Ann and daughter? <laughs> Grab Steve, and I'll come pick you guys up. You can play with Buddy. <laughs> How are you, Lady Base? How's Captain Ron? Okay, Roxy takes after you. Jeremy? What's that? Grilled cheese and tomato soup. Yep. Mm -hmm. Roxy, you take half of care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Roxy, you take after Bonnie and Wanda. She loves grilled cheese <coughs> and, and tomato soup. And with chicken noodle, it has to be peanut butter jelly. I think I can do that. Wish I could. Believe me. Andy, how are you? You know, Andy, it's funny because every time I see Billy, I have not been over to that record shop in, like, forever. Okay, we'll come and get you, too. Uh, tell him I hope he feels better. Tell him I said I and said my love. No. Oh. All right, Dave, that's fine. Good to see you. Take care of yourself. Love you much. Be safe. Are we doing five card? Yes. All right, Roxy. Yes. So you have to give me a minute. Shouldn't have taters here. I don't got taters. I mean, it's Roxy. I don't have taters either. Yeah, crap. Hang on a minute, guys. Hi everybody, I am here just multitasking. Be with you in a, in a few minutes. There we go. Yeah, tonight was an easy night of cooking. We went and got subs. Place called Mr. Sub here. They have a really good steak and cheese. Feeding my face with homemade tacos. Oh, you're killing me. John, is there a place near you that... Hey, Tracy. Um... Is there a place near you that, that makes, like, T-shirts and stuff like that? Look into that. Prune juice. I'll give you prune juice. Hey, Zach. How are you, Tracy? Yes, I can do that, Lady Base. The new one I have is... is I don't... I, there's no words. It's just beyond anything. I mean, it was a little expensive. Hey, Lily. There's Miss Lily. Hey, Scott. But the one I bought, Lady Base, and one that this thing has all the bells and whistles. But what I like about it, it's one piece. It's not a basket inside a basket. It's all one piece. And it also has a, lack of a better word, it's like a disc, but it's for frying. You can fry better in it. So, yeah, I will do that for you, hon. That's not a problem. Okay, Rox. No, oh, God, excuse me. How are you, Miss Lily, and how's your snow? I hope it's melting. Hey, Kendra. How are you, sweetheart? Hey, Kendra, Scott, Tracy, Zach, everyone else I've missed, Lily, Karen, 
Hi, Amber Ann. So, Amber, when are you going to get your alignment doll? And the van is running good, Amber. Hi, Mike. Could you have wrong? And triple sec. <laughs> Miss Lily says it's melting slowly. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Lily, that was funny. Roxy's going to feed the couch before it's going to eat somebody. <laughs> Make sure you it's, it's popcorn, Rox. It's popcorn. There's a card in here facing the wrong way. That would have been me. Nah, yeah. Alright, honey. Let us know, please. Even if you have to Facebook, just let us know how you make out. Ugh. And all I've been doing all day is sneezing and blowing my nose. Oh, that was that that was wrong. Go get the popcorn. <laughs> Roxy says she is oop I fed it fed it tummy bears. Oops. Take these. You're on your own, kid. Don't turn your back on it. She goes, oops, I fed a gummy bear. She goes, what happens now? Don't turn your back on the on the couch. Whenever ever whenever everyone is ready, we can start on trivia. Karen, can you put the um the rules up, please? If you can. Pardon me. We're doing five card trivia. So if you get an answer correct, Bob will pull a card, we'll show you the card. I will keep track of the cards, um, and then if you get five cards, you're going to sit out on the couch. And make sure it don't eat you. <laughs> Roxy's making popcorn. There we go. Um, but she already fed a gummy bear, so I'm not guaranteeing it's not going to eat you. Yeah, might get a little rough over there. Um, at the end of the trivia, we will tally up the hands, see who has the highest hand. Um, in the meantime, if you know the answer to a question, please put up an X. Bob will call on you in the order in which the X's come up on his screen. Um, hey, Mike and Tam. Hi, Mike and Tam. Please don't blurt out an answer unless he's called your name. Um, did I cover everything? Yeah, Bone Daddy's here, Mike and Tam. Hi, Mike and Tam. I said Mike and Tam. No school at all, Lady Base from oh. What did she say when no I No school here rest of the week, sickness. Ooh. <coughs> not good, lady. Thank you, Karen. Thanks, Karen. And tonight we're doing US uh history. US history. I do have some multiple choice and then I have some that are just questions. So when everybody's ready. Let me know. Hey, Andy. Scott, how are you feeling? I know that you've been sick for a while. I'm hoping it's gone. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, what? History, yeah, that's what I say. Well, didn't say it was going to be easy. A lot of it you guys will know. Here's one for you. I took a test that is a history test for people that are looking to be naturalized here in the United States. I failed it. Yeah, I wouldn't pass those. You popped the popcorn for the couch? All right, daughter. Yeah. We'll be here. All right, sure, go Amber Ann, I don't do too well with this either, but hey. Duh. Jeez, I hope that clears up soon, Scott. Hanging on lingers, ain't Hey, Shifting Currents. Hello, how are you? Hi, Shifting Currents. Welcome to Tuesday Night Trivia. Tonight's trivia is American history. We're just getting ready to get started. So you're in just in time. 
<laughs> if you know the answer, please put an X and wait for um, Bob to call on. Anyway, um, Thursday, we are going, my brother and I, we're going to vlog the uh, state capital tour for you guys. So we'll see what happens. Proxy goes, all I have is butter and salt for people who said, do whatever you want with it. Food fight. <laughs> Come on, Roxy, we'll have a food no fight. popcorn for the sitters. All right. I will keep track of everybody's cards. I can no longer see the chat screen, so feel free to chat amongst yourselves, chat about me, whatever you'd like to do. And here we go. I'll keep the <laughs> These are multiple choice. <laughs> That's funny, Kendra. Question. Question what? one. What battle is considered the turning point of the American Revolution? Is it the Battle of Fort Sumter, Battle of Saratoga, Battle of Gettysburg, or ba Battle of Trenton? Sure, friends, says, okay, back, how to get brain food cake. <laughs> <coughs> You're funny. The turning point of the American Revolution. Revolution. Battles of Fort Sumter, Saratoga, Gettysburg, or Trenton? Kendra, Amber Ann, Roxy. Andy? Go ahead, Kendra. Karen? Oh, remind me. I have something to tell you about a camera. Battle of Gettysburg. No. Go eh. ahead. Eh. Amber Ann. You're next, babe. Falls are running, but not as hard. Hours? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Turning point of the American Revolution? Mm-hmm. Huh. Saratoga. Very good, Amaran. Woohoo, Amaran. I could pick Gettysburg, too. Our Saratoga, like right up the road? Yeah. Do you know the, the abutments there that are over in Waterford? Uh, the ones there they built that are off to the side of the bridge? Okay. That was the secondary thing if they had won, the British won the Battle of Saratoga. They would have marched up to the Ford. And they were trying to take over uh, Fort Albany, or Fort Orange. Well, who knew? Look at that. Right up the road from us. Scott goes battle the network stars. Okay. Next one. <laughs> Next question. What year was the Boston Massacre? 1770, 72, 74, or 76? Kendra, you should know this. <laughs> Just because she lives in Boston, she's supposed to know? Well, she should. Boston Massacre. 1770, 1772, 74, or 76? Roxy, Kendra, Amber Ann. Go ahead, Rox. Scott. Tracy. Karen. Got her around the world. Jerry, Karen, and Andy. Or Casey. Sorry, Casey. Called you Karen. My apologies. 1770. Correct. Very good, Rox. Proud of you. Roxy, woo woo. Queen of Clubs. I'll say hi. And here's Malia. Hi. Would you have known that? Yes, here's Boston, Johnny. Boston. Here's Johnny. Here's <coughs> Zachy. Okay, three is an ad. <laughs> yeah, you have to click off to the next one. Got it. Question three. Name the founding father who was the leader of the Sons of Liberty. Was it John Adams, Patrick Henry... Samuel Adams or John Jay? Founding father who was the leader of the Sons of Liberty. 
John Adams, Patrick Henry. Just put the number up in your hand. John Jay or Samuel Adams. One, two, three. Psh, okay. Wow. I was an expert. Bob, anybody? Yep, it is Kendra, Amber Ann, Roxy, Karen. Hey, Dan, Scott, Tracy. Uh, Kendra. Kendra, Amber Ann, Roxy. Founding father, leader of the Sons of Liberty. Go ahead, Kendra. Your mother and I did this quiz. We passed with a 76. I could pass as easily. You may not think it for my age, but I, mm, I love this. You love history? Yes. You should go in my, where my other books are. And this, I love. Mm. I'm looking. Okay. Samuel Adams. Samuel Adams. Correct. Who was that? Kendra. Send a spade, Kendra. Baby girl, they gotta go over there because where I put my pile. Hence the bear. How are you, Dan? Dan, did you get or look the uh Comment I left on your last video. Bear me. That's Thursday night, Scott. I go to the bar, put a wig on. It's ladies' night. <laughs> Two for ones. Ready? Go ahead. Oh, wait. Sorry, sneeze fit. Who was the first president to live in the White House? John Adams, George Walker. I should know <laughs> Excuse me. First president to live in the White House. John Adams, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, or James Madison? Ooh, ooh, I know it. Was it James? All right, Dan. Kendra, Roxy, Tracy, Karen. What do you mean, wow, Zach? John. Go ahead, Kendra. Handy. Number. Oh, I don't know where I read them. Very good. Two. John Adams. Who got that correct? Yep. Oh, I Who got that one? Kendra. Kendra, four spades. Stop using Alexa, Kendra. <laughs> I want to play. That's not, no, because it's under 13 again. Well, she can watch, you can watch her grandma. Okay, next question. Congress first established Independence Day as a holiday in what year? 1776, 1853... 1870 or 1938? Which number? Very good. What? No. Congress first established Independence Day as a holiday. Actually. I didn't say I was insulting your intelligence. Kendra, Amber Ann, John. Thanks, Karen. Karen? Yeah, Dan, you need to, I'll, yeah, we'll talk about it later. And Tracy. Go ahead, Kendra. She's Kendra. She's not dumb. She she Far from, not. from that. Oh, I never said she was. She's using a I think she said she didn't think she would know her history. Hey, AAA, how are you? Hi, AAA. Welcome to Tuesday Night Trivia. It's history. If you know the answer, put an X. Wait, Kendra says 1777. Cool. That wasn't a thing. It was 1776, 1853, I think that's 1870, she... or 1938. I think she meant to put 1776. No, not no. correct. No. Amber, you're next. <laughs> Alexa, either do I. You have a gym. Oh, right. Your father. Yeah, I just thought about that, Scott. All right, Casey. Casey's working on some paperwork from home. 
Nope, not 1776. Go ahead, Amber. Do you have the ibuprofen? It is. Malia, look between the two computers, see if the ibuprofen. Never mind, babe. You too, Nathan. Love you. Take care. She it's says option B. I don't, what is that? Whatever B. A. It's 1853, 1870, or 1938. So it would be. But B now isn't B from before. Well, do the B before. B before was 1853. No. No. Roxy. 1870 or 1838? 1870 or 1938, Roxy. Up to you. I want to play. You can't play if you're looking at the answers. Okay. And you can't play on your... All right, Case. You can't play on your phone. Why? Because we're, we're out. Of, only we're set for no one under 13. Thanks at Triple A. <clears throat> Roxy guess or no? Go ahead, Rox. 1938. Nope, the correct answer is 1870. All right. Okay, y'all got that one. You're all like, eh. I want to play. All right, Triple A. Thanks for stopping in. Mike says I need some dessert. How about some banana foster bread pudding, Mike? No, because I have to write the cards down. I can do that. All right, next question. Which of these three presidents died on the 4th of July? Oh, I know. Okay, so this is, this is going to be a lot, so listen carefully. Was it George Washington, Chester Arthur, and James Monroe? Was it John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and James Monroe? Was it Martin Van Buren, Zachary Taylor, and Abraham Lincoln? Or was it Thomas Jefferson, Harry Truman, and John Tyler? Which three presidents died on the 4th of July? Which number? So, I, I can read them again. I'll do last names. Ken, uh, let me see. Roxy, Kendra, Amber, and Karen. Oh, maybe I don't have to. It wasn't Jefferson. One, two, or three, or four. It's easier. Yeah, but then I can't remember which names are in which number. Pop. Tracy. I mean, I can confirm with them. Hey, Saxy Matt. How are you? Welcome. How was your day? It's all right, Pam. We're here. James Monroe. Well, it's which three? So the three presidents, number the first choice is George Washington, Chester Arthur, and James Monroe. All right, Crystal, good to see you. The second choice was Adams. Is John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and James Monroe. Reset, Scott. Third choice was Martin Van Buren, Zachary Taylor, and Abraham Lincoln. And the fourth choice was Thomas Jefferson, Harry Truman, and John Tyler. Kendra says, Adams, Jefferson, and Monroe. And Kendra is correct. There you go, Kendra. All right, Kendra, king of clubs. Woohoo. Oops. All right, awesome. All right, next question. What political party formed in 1834 from anti-Andrew Jackson forces? Was it the Federalist Party, the Whig Party, Libertarians, or Democratic Republican? I know that one. Let's see if they know it. It's about a 38-second mic. Political party formed in 1834 from anti-Andrew Jackson forces. Federalist, Whig, Libertarian, or Democrat, Republican? Kendra, Amber Ann, Karen. 
Tracy. Nope, Roxy, then Tracy. <clears throat> Go ahead, Kendra. Anyway, I found a camera online that has what they call a dead pack in it. And we can use it. It'll go live and you'll stay live. Kendra. Kendra, Kendra. Wow, listen to the falls. Damn. Rating on Kendra, if not, it'll be Amber Ann. Political party formed in 1834 from anti-Andrew Jackson forces. Federalist, Whig, Libertarian, or Democratic Republican? Go ahead, Amber Ann. <laughs> That's cute, rocks. Yeah, I'm sure she does, Mike. Go ahead, Amber Ann. Amber Ann said wig. She got it right. Amber Ann, awesome. What does she have? Nine of diamonds. Nine of diamonds, son. Hang on. Nine of diamonds. All right. Next question. Proletarian, not proletarian. We ready? We're ready. <laughs> Next question. What act gave settlers 160 acres of land that if, if they agreed to live on it for five years? Was it the Public Lands Act, the Homestead Act, the Dawes Severalty Act, or the Land Act? I know that one. Hey, Cindy, welcome. We're good. Playing trivia. Put an X if you know the answer. Five card. Karen, Amber, Roxy. Go ahead, Karen. How are you, Cindy, and how was your day? Homestead, she got it. <laughs> All right, Karen. Three of spades. All right. Stacy goes, I'm stumped. Next question. It's okay, Case. <laughs> Former Vice President Aaron Burr was tried for what crime in 1807? Was it murder, tax evasion, fraud, or treason? Do you know which one it is? Aaron Burr, what crime, 1807? Murder, tax evasion, fraud, or treason? No, I got it right. Amber Ann, Karen, Kendra. Go ahead, Amber. I give you a hint. Donald Trump. I got it already. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't do that. What? Treason. She got it. That is correct. Very good, Amber. Woohoo, Amber Ann. 
Jack of spades. Way to go, Amber. You get a high hand, I'll pick you and Steven up. We'll go to Vegas. Right. <clears throat> Next question. Sorry, Roxy. Sometimes guesses are good. Okay, that's not working. Next question. Who was the Confederate president during the Civil War? Abraham Lincoln, Jefferson Davis, Stonewall Jackson, or James Waddell? Do you know it? Roxy. Confederate president during the Civil War. Lincoln, Davis, Stonewall Jackson, Roxy, Kendra, Waddle. Karen. Um, I need power cord. Hey, Roy. Soxy Matt. Matt, dumb question. Do you collect albums? Oh, dear. Hang on. Hang on, guys. It's Roxy, Kendra, Amber, and Sexy Max, Zach, Beanie. Hey, Beanie, how are you? Welcome. Up to you, Roxy. I'm good, Roy. I'm good. Okay. I'll explain later why I asked that. Come on, Rox. So it's Roxy, Kendra, Karen, Amber Ann, Sexy Matt, Zach. Casey. Hmm? Time's ticking. Hey, Jeremy. How are you? Abraham Lincoln. No. Nope. So the next one would be... Kendra. Confederate president during the Civil War. Hey, Karen. Jefferson Davis. You're not that late. Stonewall Jackson. James Waddle. Hey, Karen. Hey, Jeremy. How many are you showing? How many people? 17. Oh. How many you got? 16 now, but it was up to... 20-something, and then all these new people came in, so I don't know. You're not that late, Karen. <laughs> no. I'll read it one more time. Confederate president during the Civil War. Jefferson Davis, Stonewall Jackson, James Waddell. Thanks, Karen. Or Waddell. How, I don't know. It's W-A-D-D-E-L-L. -L. Karen Story, you are up next. What is the answer? Jeremy knows it. <coughs> Davis. That is correct. Who got it? Karen, sorry. Karen, nine of spades. Oh, you did say Davis. Did I miss? Yep. Okay, never mind. It goes to Kendra. Sorry. Oh, uh, all right. My bad. My screen just blinked. Well, I'll give it to you. Karen in Canada. How's your weather up there, hun? It's cold down Kendra, here you're tonight. For the Claire. Couch. What? One more. Kendra's headed. One more, Kendra. Next one. 
Next one. What year did the Great Depression it. start? 1905, 1919, 1929, or 1941? What year did the Great Depression start? I saw it, guys. I just had a little glitch on my screen, but it's okay now. Amaran. 1905. Cindy. 1919. 1929. Or 1941. The Great Depression. When did it start? Go ahead, Amber. Jason. Hi. How are you? Beautiful rust. How are you, sir? How's Hi, Cassie? Jason. Welcome to the 10th Tuesday Night Trivia. 29. 1929 it is. For an extra card, Who Amber was Ann. Who was that? Amber Ann. For an extra card, yeah. Amber Ann, when did it end? When did, the, the, when did it end? Great Depression ended what year? Amber and Kendra both with four cards. Not doing an extra card. Do Why? Extra. All right, do an extra card. Because I don't have any way to verify it. I do. I already know. Good to see you. Anybody know what year it ended? She don't know. I gave you the answer. 1939, Amber. It's 10 years. Next question. <laughs> Roxy's eating butter and salt. Okay. Next question. 34. Yep, 1939. Which president used the phrase, speak softly and carry a big stick? Was it Theodore Roosevelt, Franklin Roosevelt, James Polk or Harry Truman? What was the question? Which president used the phrase, speak softly, softly. and carry a big stick? Teddy Roosevelt, Franklin Roosevelt, James Polk, or Harry Truman? Hey, Moran, Matt, Karen, Cindy, Dan, Roxy. Jason. Christina, hey, how are you? Hi, Christina. Roosevelt. Which yep. one? Roosevelt. Yes, which one? Teddy or Franklin? Teddy or Franklin, Amber. Teddy Roosevelt, Franklin Roosevelt. James Polk or Harry Truman. So which Roosevelt? <coughs> which one, Amber? Theodore or Franklin? Theodore or Franklin. Teddy, got it. She yeah. knows it. Who's that, Amber? Very good, Amber. Amber, you are on... I, I didn't see that. Eight of clubs. Amber, you're on the couch. Get on the couch, Amber. Have some popcorn. Amber's on the couch. All right. Next question. What was the deal in 1803 that involved the U.S. purchasing a large amount of land from the French? Was it the Florida sale, the Louisiana purchase, the Paris lease to buy, or the Florida folly? What was the deal in 1803? The U.S. purchased a large amount of land from the French. Florida sale, Louisiana purchase. Karen. Paris lease to buy or Florida folly. Karen, Karen. Nope, I'm sorry, Karen. It's Cindy. Cindy, I'm sorry. It's Cindy. Go ahead and answer. My bad. It popped the screen again. Should have said something earlier. Well, I didn't want it then. Louisiana Purchase. Louisiana Purchase. The only one that makes any sense. Who's this, Karen? 
Eight of Hearts, Karen. Alrighty. Next question. Hey, pause. How are you? Real easy pause. If you know the answer, put an X. If you're the first one, you get the right answer, I'll pull a card for you. Got it right. I have no clue what this is. Next question. The failed Compromise of 1850 was drafted by which congressman? Daniel Webster, John Calhoun, Stephen Douglas, or Henry Clay? I never even heard of that. The failed Compromise of 18... I already got it. 1850 was drafted by which congressman? Roxy, Christina. <clears throat> Daniel Webster, Christina. Stephen Douglas, John Calhoun, or Henry Clay? Kendra and then Cindy. Go ahead, Rox. How are you, pause? All right, White Witch. How was your day? And I really like your channel name. You know what their channel name is? Mm -hmm. Pause and Effect. Cute. I like it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Kendra says Kendry Clay. Henry Clay is correct. All right, Kendra. Two of diamonds, Kendra, you're on the couch. Kendra, get to the couch. How to restart. It's all right, Matt. Kendra's on the couch with Amber. It's okay, Matt. All right. Just cold, Jason. It was sunny today. A little overcast and it was sunny, but it's just cold. Watching a storm for this weekend, but it's too far out. Not enough numbers. I'll probably know by Friday. Can't it goes blue over Roxy. All right, next question. The Know Nothing Party focused its platform, platform on what issue? Foreign policy, prohibition, women's rights, or immigration? The Know Nothing Party focused its platform on what issue? Foreign policy, prohibition, women's rights, or immigration? Christina. <clears throat> Roxy, Karen, Matt. Go ahead, Christina. So you think you know the do you, Jason? <laughs> yeah, it's been a thing where, like you said, Jason, we're expecting, um, she said C. Christina, hold on. Nope, C was women's rights. Nope. Nope. So it's foreign policy, prohibition, or immigration. Roxy. Kendra goes, Roxy keeps touching me. Roxy, be your hands to yourself. Thanks, Karen. Roxy, Roxy. Foreign policy, prohibition, immigration. I know that one, too. Prohibition. No. no. Uh, Karen. Karen Story. You're next. I did tell her to stop touching you. Foreign policy or immigration? The No Nothing Party. Listen, you two. Put that thing of popcorn between you and s space yourselves out. Who can see your you might, Amber. You might. Karen, immigration, correct. Very good, Karen. 
Queen of Hearts, Karen. All right. Playing with the Queen of Hearts. Next one. He's sleeping. Yeah. All right. Next question. Didn't, Which, get, didn't give her a wet willy back. Which of the following land was not acquired by the United States at the end of the Spanish-American War? Puerto Rico, Philippines, Guam, or Cuba? Which land was not acquired oh, wait, by the United States at the end of the Spanish-American War? Jason! Wow. Go ahead, Jason. Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. Somebody in the back? Yes, my daughter. Oh. Didn't you see me keep looking while I was in the water? <laughs> so it's, it's Ross, Roxy, Christina, Karen. I need to break, take a break in a couple minutes. Which land was not acquired? Yes, the Philippines. No. no. Who was next? I gotta take a break right after this. Break. Hang on, I gotta go. Hang on, I gotta come back down. <coughs> Christina, Blondie's Adventures, you're next. Puerto Rico, Guam, or Cuba? I don't know. I know it. You're going to have to tell me who and, show, and keep the card off. Yep. To the side. Short break, folks. A. What was A? No. Puerto Rico, no. No. Karen. Guam or Cuba? Guam or Cuba. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was funny. Yes, I know. Dumb butt. Cuba. Very good, Karen. So, Night of Hearts. We're taking a break. Everybody talk. Walking, they'll keep seeing you. Oh well, the towel on. Just... So yeah, it's been cool up here. You have to get five cards, Jason. That's how this works. So yeah, it's uh. We had some bad news today. One of Bonnie's co-workers' husbands passed away. Hey, elsewhere. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. How are you, Lori? Grandma's in there. Oh, all right. You never know, Case. Hey, hey, now. <laughs> That's funny, ever. Yeah, he, uh, battling, he's young, too. He left a wife and three kids. Heartbreaking. Roxy, do you want the bag of Doritos? I have Doritos, or as Russell calls them, Ritos. Doesn't say Doritos, Ritos. Oh. 
Matt, if you're still here, the reason why I asked about the albums, um, I need your address because I know that you listen to jazz albums and I have a couple of them that are rare. I'll never get rid of them anyway, so you're more than welcome to them. So I'll have Bonnie is a cool ranch, yes. Um, so I'll have Bonnie put up her Facebook for you and give me your address and I'll send them to you. <laughs> Rick Lysol. Uh, that's funny. Especially in this house. Water's pushing over the falls again, guys. Yeah, Rito's sound better. That's what he calls me, Casey. I'll say, Russell, what do you want? I'm taking to the store. I want Rito's. The hot, spicy kind, which are the nacho. Yes, I'm sure, Matt. I am more than sure. That's true, Karen. <laughs> Yeah, Matt, uh, Bonnie put up the Facebook thing when she comes back. Sleeping. He's been up since 5 a.m. So he had his chicken nuggets and he went, <coughs> out he went. Oh, daughter, no. I love you, but no, they're too spicy. Oof. Not for dad. Uh-uh. Love you, kiddo, but mm -mm. The other night I had, I don't remember what I had, and I had hot sauce on it. Not your weedos. <laughs> That's funny, Case. I had hot sauce. Oh, man, did I have heartburn. Yeah, I like hot sauce on chicken, but it doesn't like me as of late. Oh, he calls them taco chips. Purple bag. They're good. All right, Matt. Amber, what do you eat? Fire? I love you, but new no, girlfriend. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Karen. Who got Cuba? Karen. Karen, nine of hearts. Where is she? Four cards. Four, Karen. You need one more and your butt's going. Sorry for the delay, folks. Oh, no, daughter. I love you, but no. Sweet and spicy. Yeah. Mm -mm. Carla likes the buffalo ones. Deep fried devil eggs is the next one, Karen. <laughs> that was funny, man. Ugh. Is there oh, anything, Amber. Is there anything they don't deep fry? Amber Ann says, Stephen bought some Carolina Reaper cheese ball. He ate one and died. I ate them like candy. Oh. Girlfriend, I love you, but no. Uh-uh. I'll take the Hershey's pumpkins. Oh, Russ is in his lazy boy. <laughs> Deep fried Snickers. That's my daughter. I like Cool Ranch. All right, let's get back to rocking here, guys. Everybody ready for the next set of questions? Yeah, Carla, that's my brother Carl. Those pepperoncinis or whatever they're called, he eats them out of the jar like candy.
Yeah, Carl, absolutely. Covered in chocolate, you're absolutely right, Jason. Deep fried Oreos, absolutely, yeah. Casey. Absolutely. Oh. Bonnie's over here My dying, guys. Me just thinking about it. I can't. Ah, eat, that's funny. I can't eat deep fried foods, but I don't like them. I don't like the taste of grease and crap. I just don't. No offense to those that do. I just. Ugh. Carla says I love pepperoncinis. She's Italian. <laughs> Good night, Jason. Love you much. My love to Cassie. Good night, Jason. Are we ready for the next That's question? not right, Amber. All right, guys, next question. Here we go, folks. In what decade did the Dow Jones Industrial Average first cross the 1,000-point mark? Was it the 1950s, 60s, 70s, or 80s? In what decade Dow Jones Industrial Average first crossed the 1,000-point mark? 50s, 60s, 70s, or 80s? All right. Rocks. Nope. Roxy, Karen, Sexy, Matt. Cindy? Dan? Bob, did you say Dan? Or can we stick to What? Ten, it's already on the unit. Sorry. The reason I did that because it was the okay. sixties. No, incorrect. <coughs> Karen. Fifties, seventies, or eighties, Karen. Karen, Karen. Love you too, Zach. Have a good night. Be safe. Night, Zach. Catch up with you. Seventies. Did you see money on the floor? No, but I didn't look for it. Seventies. That is correct. Karen. That's five. Karen, you are on the couch. Karen, take your lights off. Get to the couch. You are on the couch with Amber and Kendra and Roxy eating salt and butter somewhere in there. Really, Carla, I love you too. Hey, Jan. How are you, honey? <laughs> Next one. Are we ready? Go. Remember the main, M-A-I-N-E, like the state. Remember the main was used as an American rally cry at the start of which war? Spanish-American, World War I, World War II, or the Korean War? Did you find it, Felicia? What did she lose? Money. Look in your pants. I have the five you put here before. No. Okay. Roxy, Dan. Remember the main. American rally cry. Which war? Start of which war? Spanish American, World War One, World War Two, or Korean War? I then set my. That's funny, Casey. All right, Kendra. World War One. No. All right, so the next one would be Dan. You're next, babe. Spanish American, World War Two, or the Korean War. Remember the main was the rally cry. Thanks, Carly. I love you, too. Carly says, seriously, Bob, this stuff is poison. causes high blood sugar, cancer, retains body fat, destroys your kids, and you also stop drinking it. She says, I love you. I want you around forever. What, the Snapple? Spanish-American. That is correct. Who got that, Dan? Dan. Dan, six of hearts. Okay. 
You're on the board. What is she talking about? Snapple? Yeah. Mark says, I only have one point. I just have nowhere to sit, Kendra. Sit on your butt. Listen, with our sugar, we have to drink diet stuff. <laughs> you guys are funny tonight. <laughs> Roxy, I only have one point. All right, next question. The United States' first subway line was opened in what city in 1897? New York, Chicago, Philadelphia, or Boston? My daughter got it wrong, too. Yeah, I did, too. You I went. didn't think it was New York. But I didn't think it was that one. First subway line. Oh, Casey. Opened in 1897 in New York. Kendra, Chicago. Roxy. Kendra, you're on the couch. Sexy, Mike. Kendra, you can't answer. Look. So it's Roxy, Roxy or Matt. Sorry, Kendra. Sorry, Pumpkins. I know you're right on this one. That's a good question, Karen. What'd you say? Karen says, why are you running these off on the couch, Kendra? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's funny. Guys, make the Because Roxy told her not to. I don't drink it that often, Carla. Very rare. Okay. We have a lot of options. We can't drink all the sugar either. Not New York. Who said New York? Roxy. Nope, not New York, Rox. Matt. Chicago, Philadelphia, or Boston. You're next, Matt. Ew, Kendra. She being bold? Yeah, she said she had a crotch wedgie. Jeez, Kendra. How could you? You don't have one. Never mind. Amber says I'm on the floor too much today. I'm getting on the couch. I know. Just walking around. I don't know Boston. That Thanks, is Scott. correct. You got it, Matt. Matt, five of hearts. You are on the board. My daughter got it wrong, too, so don't feel bad. I knew it wasn't New York and Philadelphia. All right, next question. Amber's on the floor. Karen's on the couch. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that, Amber Ann. Too funny. Are we ready to go? What were the last two states admitted into the Union? Washington and Hawaii, Hawaii and Alaska, Alaska and Oregon, or Texas and Oregon? I got that one right. Yeah, it's me too. Oregon. What is it with y'all saying Oregon? Just, Carly goes, I'm over here in the corner. I don't want any part of that hoot nanny over there. <laughs> That's funny, Carla. What? No. It's, it's what? It's Oregon. Do you see an E in there? It's an O. It's O-R-E-G-O-N. Somebody typo. Because there's no such thing. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah, Oregon. Good night, Jan. <laughs> Love you. The last two states admitted into the Union. Washington and Hawaii. Hawaii and Alaska. Alaska and Oregon. <laughs> it is typo. <laughs> no, that's not even Dan, Oregon. Matt, Spook Casey. Oregon. It's not Oregon. Like an organ donor. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy's is honestly the couch eats people. It's not fit. It has popcorn all over and it smells like socks. So are they all here? on the floor now? And then Karen says, however, someone will have to get me off this couch, swallow those humans and other things. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Does anyone know the last two states? Yep. Dan got Alaska and Hawaii. All right, Dan. Two of clubs. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to get rid of that couch. <laughs> so funny, but it's too funny. <laughs> Next game, we're using a picnic bench. Oh, I have an app. Hold on. Okay. 
Nobody puts baby in the corner. We should all know this one. If we don't, I don't know. Go. The Statue of Liberty was a gift to the U.S. from which country? Germany, England, France, or Italy? I got those two right. Yeah. I, I got so. that one and the one before. I got a lot right. of that other one. You, 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 you know a lot more history than you think you do. Statue of Liberty, gift to the U.S. from what country? Germany, England, Italy, or France? I found my money. It's at Raheem's house. It fell out on the bed. <laughs> I said, yeah, I'll be to get that in the morning. Go ahead, Carla. Christina, damn. Who's picking you up? Brittany, I'll just have her stack on our way. But what, Bob? It is Carla... Christina, Dan, Matt, and Roxy. <laughs> Casey goes, can we burn some incense? I can smell the couch from here. No upgrade to a pleather couch. We will all stick to it. Or Sage. Says, Carla got it, France. It is France. He says, why didn't you say something? Two of hearts. Carla with the two of hearts. When we read the story, I said, I didn't watch uh, all right, here we go. What was the wow, first? Roxy? Really? Ready? She goes. Can we get a ch chair that comes with a TV and chips? <laughs> what was the first state to allow women the right to vote? Montana, New York, Wyoming, or Colorado? What was the question? First state to allow women the right to vote. <coughs> Montana, New York, Wyoming, or Colorado? Hang on, buddy. I thought so. <coughs> Roxy! Karen wants a lifty chair. Hang on, baby. I was going to clean it up, but there was nothing in there, and I was too lazy to keep open. Roxy, Dan, Matt. Hang on, buddy. Go lay down. Oh, she turned the light on. <laughs> Casey. I needed to wash my. Those are the only pants that I like that fit me. I really right. wanted to wash my jackets tonight too, and I forgot my. Oh, there's probably still room if you want to stick them in. I don't know about you guys. I really <laughs> don't. I, I, I have to maneuver. Do you want me to get on the phone? If there's room for them. Yeah, for what? Because they're my jackets. She's got room in the watch she just put in. Okay. There's nothing in any pockets around. Roxy there. says Tennessee. Not the... That wasn't the question. That wasn't the That was in it. Montana, New York, Wyoming, or Colorado. Not the scarf right. Dan! You're up. They're just... The, they get so dirty from leaning on the car and stuff. And then I realized today I had to... Yeah. If they were. First state to allow women the right to vote. Montana, New York, Wyoming, Colorado. Casey says I'm sitting in a bing bag chair. <laughs> <laughs> Smart, Casey. <laughs> well, I'm not on the couch. I Wyoming. Off. That is correct. Wyoming is correct. You got it, Dan. All right, Dan. Queen of Diamonds, Dan. <clears throat> I want to even ask how you knew that, Dan. Yeah, that, that is exactly it, Casey. Casey says, I don't know about y'all, but... <laughs> okay, Thank I've you. never heard of these. Okay. These are all little acronyms. I'm not even sure what they are. Okay, which one of these government agencies was not part of President Franklin Roosevelt's original New Deal? Which of these government agencies was not part of Roosevelt's original New Deal? The CCC... The ACF, the FSA, or the WPA? No clue what any of those are. WPA or FERPA. Blondie says she'll sit on dog blood. You love history. You and me both, pal. Well, we're learning things, if nothing else. How much we Christina, retain? Roxy. So, but are we retaining? Yeah, how much we retain is another question. It's Christina, Roxy, Dan, and then Matt. Which was not part of Roosevelt's original New Deal. The CCC, the ACF, the FSA, or the WPA? I really got a file with the Casey. 
I don't know how I'm going to do this tomorrow because I was supposed to go unscrew the thing from the door so they could bring my furniture up and I have the house keys. Blondie says A. Hey. Not the CCC. No, that's not correct. Nope. So it's the ACF, the FSA, or the WPA. Not part of Roosevelt's original New Deal. And you can't answer for her, Kendra. Oh, oh. I have the keys. The doors are all locked. What if you have to go in online to get your money and you can just give him the keys? Yes, but he won't know how to take the thing out of the door. What is it? Take out a screw that has the door closed because the maintenance people move the latch until they're done remodeling. So they have a screw up in it. So it's Christina, Roxy, Dan, so, Matt, Casey. I get it. I do. I shouldn't laugh, but. Okay, so can you just leave the keys off for me in the morning so I can go over in the morning? Because Brittany is usually late because I only have three light bulbs in my house. Oh, come on. And my cable bill is already due. You're not even in the house yet. I know. I don't understand how we're already... It's due on the 8th. We haven't had the 8th. Because they have you pay in that's so stupid. It's always I mean, we can pay it. That's, that's not a problem. We get paid on the fourth. It's just like, ACF. Damn, already. It is the ACF. Who got that? Roxy. Very good, Roxy. Roxy. She All right. Queen of Spades. Roxy, you may be. Do me a favor you got... while you're up. Oh, you Here, please. dump this. We're overrun. Man, I hate the way that thing smells. Me and you and me both, that's why. Then don't know. breathe. All right, Roxy. Not to and actually, guys, here's something that I should go vlog. Where we lived in our old house, there is a uh, sidewalk, although it's probably gone. They redid it over. But one of the sidewalks actually said WPA on it. Moving right along, I think there's two more questions, maybe three. Casey, what? Buddy, can't just... What opened in Manhattan in 1817 that helped the U.S. become a financial power? Bank of Manhattan, New York's Mercantile Exchange, Wells Fargo, or New York Stock Exchange? What opened in Manhattan in 1817 Roxy. that helped the U.S. become a financial power? Blondie's Adventures. Dan the Mountain Man, Matt, Casey. Like yeah. I'm more almost than anything. Do you want one of my... And all I can think of, keep thinking in my head is, I need to do exactly this when I get to work. This, I don't care who says anything to me. How's the baby doing? Yeah. I guess it's the New York Stock that Exchange. That is correct. I texted his mom. She said he was sleeping. Who? Roxy. Two of spades, Roxy. Not Wells Fargo. Who answered? Roxy got it right. She said New oh. York Stock Exchange. Okay, who said Wells Fargo? That would have been true. Oh. See, Rox, knew you knew your history, honey. Next one. Oh, this one's a hard one for ter for them to remember. What is it? A lot of words. Um, the three fit without looking at it, seeing it themselves. The three fifths compromise. Is, nope. Don't do that one. Skip it. That was the last question. All right, that's now, it. I do have some that are just random. They're not multiple choice. How many did you think we skipped? Three, two. Oh, so no. it's twenty-five total. So I could do another five that aren't. All right, guys. Now comes. It's not multiple choice, so you're going to have to think about these. There's five. Go. Should we let everybody join in and cut their lowest cards? Yeah. Okay. Everybody back in. Everybody Kendra, off the couch. Kendra, Karen. This is, this is for everybody. Everybody off the couch. Back into the chat. We'll do another five questions. It's not multiple choice. Are we ready? 
What is the northeasternmost state of the U.S.? No. Northeastern. Nope, there's one above it. Northeastern state of the U.S. Which one? Yvette's aunt. Okay, Amber Ann, Dan the Mountain Man, Karen, Casey, Kendra, Matt, Kendra and Kendra. Who's first? It would have been Amber Ann. Go ahead, Amber. <coughs> Northeasternmost state in the U.S. The U.S. West Coast, East Coast. Northeasternmost state of the U.S.A. That would be us. We're on the northeastern coast. Are we the most northeastern no. state? Okay. Is that the one that's the Maine. Maine. Correct. Very good, Amber. Amber. While you answer, Five we're clubs. arguing. Five of clubs. Amber, and that's a lower card than any you have. I'm not taking that out. I mean, I'm not taking anything else okay, out. Okay, Rox. Next question. In which state is the Cumberland Plateau? We lived there for a week. <laughs> Your son, Timmy. Oh! <coughs> I'm thinking of something else. Amber! Casey! Which state is the Cumberland Plateau? Oh, Casey, Dan, Karen, and Christina. So it was Amber Ann, Casey, Dan, Karen, and Blondie's Adventures. Tennessee. No. no. Casey. <clears throat> You're next, honey. Cumberland Plateau. What state? I'm thinking of Cumberland Gap, but that's not the right one. No, nope. Cumberland Plateau. Roxy wants some s'mores. Bonnie wants chocolate, honey. <laughs> Kentucky. No. No. Dan. Up to you, buddy. See, I would have got that wrong. I don't think I did this either. West Virginia. Nope. Nope. Karen Story. <coughs> Four hours to make s'mores? Really, child? <laughs> Actually, I have a s'more have a recipe for a s'mores cake. Karen says Virginia. No. No. One more guess. Go ahead, Case. If you know it. On you, Case. It's all right. Alabama. Correct. Very good, Casey. Casey, Alabama. Woohoo! King of Hearts. King of Hearts. Very good, Case. All right. Yeah. Okay, Rocks. That's what I thought. There we go. Three more questions. Where is the lowest point of the Western Hemisphere? Western Hemisphere. Right. Yeah. Backwards for you. Lowest point. Okay, the Western Carla. Hemisphere. Christina. Good luck on this one, folks. Blondie's Adventures. Amber Ann. Casey. Dan. Kendra. Matt. It's in the U.S. It's in the U.S. Lowest point. Western Hemisphere. Western Hemisphere. <coughs> you guys didn't think you knew your... your American history. Well, 
Well, some of this is geography. Not Texas. Nope. Nope. Amber Ann. Go ahead, babe. Roxy goes, anyone else needs something and remember, the more you get, the more hours it takes. <laughs> You're cute, kiddo. Death Valley. Death Valley, California. Who got that? Amber Ann. Amber Ann. Ten of hearts. All right, hang on. Let me see what you got. Hey, Amber. All right, I can take your nine. And, nope, your eight of clubs out. All right, ten of hearts. Dead Sea Scrolls. Okay, two more. Yeah, these aren't more. These aren't as much history as they are geography, but it's okay. It says history. Um, what divides Alaska from the rest of the USA? What divides Alaska from the rest of the USA? I would have never known this. Do you know you, it? You know me with geography. <laughs> Good night, Christina. Love you. Christina's room. Good night, Christina. Dan. Karen. All right, Amber. So it's Dan, Karen, Kendra, Matt, and Carla. And Casey. Canada. Specific. Well, all right. Give it to him. British Columbia. Dan. Six of spades. Pardon me. Alright, Dan. Hang on. Give me a second, guys. No. Yeah, these are definitely more. I got a pink, so. That's alright. Short intermission, like two minutes, two seconds. Two more questions, folks. Okay, I'm back. I already washed my hands. Thank you. All right, two more questions. All right, Karen. Wait, which is about you should get the parcel I sent you this week. Oh, all right, Karen. Thank you. Let you know as soon as we do. Last two questions. Folks. All right, Roxy. In Nevada. Where did? Buddy. In Nevada, which mineral production exceeds that of oil? I know it. I can't say it, though. Let me go find what he's doing. Kendra! Yeah. Kendra, Karen, Matt. In Nevada, which mineral um, production exceeds that of oil? <laughs> Go ahead, Kendra. Buddy. Buddy, come on. You gotta get up and get the gate up. Okay. In here. Thank you. Hold on, folks. One second.
Kendra says gas. No. No. Karen. No. In Nevada, which mineral production exceeds that of oil? Mineral. Mineral. Up to you, Kendra. Or, yeah, Karen. Then it's Matt and Casey. Gold. Yes, correct. Who is that? Karen. Take out your three spades, four hearts. All right, last question. Last question, guys. Which is the only U.S. state to have been an independent republic? I know it. I, know. I can't say it. No, you cannot say it. No. I know it. I the know only it. U.S. state to have been an independent republic. Let me see. Kendra, Dan, Casey, Matt. Hey. Now that'll come kind of know. That is Karen. Go ahead, Kendra. It's Kendra, Dan, Casey, Matt, and Karen. Do, 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 California. No. No. Dan, you're next, bub. All the gold in California. Only U.S. state to have been an independent republic. Texas. Dan said, correct. Very good, Dan. It was Texas. Six of clubs. Six of clubs. Now we're going to tally it up and see who won. All right, we have four in the running here with five guards. Awesome. We'll start with Miss Karen. Four of hearts, eight of hearts, queen of hearts, nine of hearts, jack of clubs. A lot of hearts, no no pairs <coughs> um, or anything. No straights, no flushes. Okay. Kendra, seven of spades, four of spades, king of clubs, nine of spades, two of diamonds. No pair, straights, flushes. Let's see. Amber Ann. Ace of diamonds. Nine of diamonds. Jack of spades. Ten of spades. Ten of hearts. Pair of hearts. Ace high. <coughs> Dan. Six of hearts. Two of clubs. That's true, Matt. Queen of diamonds. Six of spades. Six of clubs. Dan has got three of a kind. Three sixes. C Congratulations, Dan. Dan. Woohoo! Dan. Dan the Mount Man. Congratulations, Dan. Dan, you have Facebook? Yes, right? All right, Dan. <coughs> Great game, guys. Great game. Congratulations to Dan the Mount Man. Let me try to get my... I know, Karen. It was close. No. You had four, eight. He doesn't have it. Nine, Do you have a queens. Do you have email, Dan? Dan, you have email? Hey, Carl. You missed trivia, bub. Thanks, Matt. <coughs> Matt said that was fun. Dan, here's my email address. Oh, I already have your email. All right, Dan. Good enough. Ten dollar Amazon gift card, Dan. Congratulations. 
to so, celebrate our 10th Tuesday night trivia. Unbelievable. Where does the time go? Do not know where the time goes. I have Dan's email, huh? Let me double check on that. And now I can... I gotta go back. Dan, I got your uh, reply. I told him about Dirty Dance. He says it's not far from me. I may make a trip down there and film a couple locations of Dirty Dance and a couple other films. That's cool, Dan. I'll be waiting for that. Good night, Kendra. Good night, Kendra. Love you much. So this was fun. You learned a lot of trivia. Learned a lot about American history. Buddy. Come on. I don't want that. Come here. Come on. Right, Dan won Saturday night, too. Up. Huh? Dan won Saturday night, too. Ow, buddy. Yeah. So. All right, so... Yeah, Matt, that, well, yeah, because I'm going to need your ground address. <clears throat> By the way, Karen and Kennedy, your cat is adorable. So, <laughs> I'll try, buddy. He's laying down with his bone. He's laying down with his bone if he gets up again. Come here. No, he's no. just laying down. Send an email now. Yeah, I got your email, Dan. Come here. Hey, come here. People want to uh, see you. Come here. No. It's being shy tonight, Karen. Saturday trivia. Come here. Tuesday night trivia. Come here. Casey, this is Buddy, and he likes to kiss. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, he's a handful case. And he has bones and all sorts of stuff. He flips all over. He is a Australian Shepherd. Come here. No, I'm not playing Tuggy. He's a handful, Carla, but he's a good dog. You just, we got to train them a little bit better. But once the kids go, they're leaving February 4th into their new apartment, so. Yeah, I think it'll be a little bit easier. There'll be less distraction here and less, you know, energy. And he feeds off everybody else's energy. I mean, when he's here with me during the day. Bonnie, did you get my email? I got a rejection notification on the one I just sent you. Who's that from? Dan. Oh, I don't know, but I have your email from Sunday, Dan. Nope. I have your email. Dan, put your email up, babe. I have an email from October. I got it. I got it. Oh, never mind, Dan. I, I have your email, Dan. She's confusing me. I'm not trying to confuse you. I'm confused. <coughs> Trying to figure out which one was ten and which one was five. Yeah, we knew when we got him, Carly, he was high energy. But we have a dog park that's just down the hill here. And as long as the weather stays nice. 
See if you got one from Matt. Should be one from Matt. Hang on. When would Matt's have come through? Matt, send it again, babe. What was that, just now? Yeah. Buddy! Buddy booze. All right, Amber. Damn one tonight, Amber. No, nothing from... Oh, Matt, I just got, yes. All right, Matt, we got it. Anybody want a bone? Bob, ew. Just dog. How's Steve and Amber? Yeah, he's a good dog, but like I said, we have a dog park, so as long as the weather stays nice, I can take him down there. We thought it was for LPs. LP, Matt. You can add them to your collection. I got to make some space for some new stuff there, Matt. Why, Amber? What's going on, honey? Karen, you remember the battery that Nikki sent me? This thing is unbelievable. It's heavy, but it's unbelievable. Hey, Carl, if you're still here, I'll call you in a few minutes. What? I don't want that. Nope. Yeah, it's it works really well. It takes a while to fully charge it, but it holds my phone for over 100 hours. So I have it plugged into my phone. That's what I'm using for the camera and the mic. I'm still at 99% when I plugged it in, and I'm still at 99 now. All right, guys. I thank you for stopping. Yeah, that that was sweet. That was really sweet. Oh, not good. Amber says Stephen's trying to get his job is trying to get people to volunteer to get laid off. Oh, ooh, not good. I don't want that. They're fuzzball. Love you too, Carla. I'm going soon. <coughs> I gotta get things squared away. Bonnie's going back to work tomorrow, and I've got things I gotta finish here. Back to work. I was at work all day today. Well, I know that. Long day. Meetings. Meetings make a day very long. I really hate this thing. There we go. Stop. She's being silly again. All right, guys. I thank you for stopping by tonight for trivia. I hope you all had a good time. That was fun. That was different. Not, I'm definitely not good on American history. I'll we'll have to figure out what the next trivia is going to be. Maybe Disney trivia. We had some good suggestions the other night. So. How about some Disney trivia for Saturday night, guys? All right, Casey. All right, Casey. Dan said he has I his. didn't email you yet, Dan. Just hang on there. I'm just waiting until we're done. Good night, Amber. Love you. Good night.
Good night, everybody. Thank you. Take care, guys. We will see you. And now this is not shutting off at all. All right, I'll just shut it off the other way. Give me. Yeah, Disney, I think Casey, that's what we'll do. If you can get to a Saturday night, Casey, we'll do Disney. Love you, Casey. Have a good night. Have a good week. Night, Karen. Night, Dan. Night, everybody. Matt, I'll uh, email you. Oh, my God, this thing is being it's totally it's weird tonight. Had to make you jump up in his lap. And now you're all hyper again. Oh. Tell me when you're off. I'm off because I had to power it down. All right. I have a big problem here. What's that? I Get down.